Hi everyone, this is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is January 17th, 2022. Wow, wow, wow. Starting off the year with a bang, bang, bang. Hope you guys are doing well and this is our first math tutoring drop-in session for the year 2022. Uh, it's been a few months since we did one. Um, this year, I think it's even uh, first one for this school year maybe uh, we haven't done too many this school year anyway if we've done any um, just busy doing other things but um, we're back on again for mathematics and we're gonna be doing a fair bit of these um, maybe more so than before I might start putting um, modules together live uh, specifically state that we're gonna cover a certain topic and we cover it um, more information on that later I'm gonna be hooking up with uh, uh, most likely underground group in my area uh, that is putting up some resistance to certain types of totalitarianism and uh, we'll see if we can get a group together and uh, uh, based on the topics that they want to cover they need to cover for for them to you know make it through the centralized indoctrination centers uh, we might do the topics in that order uh, but more on this later for now we'll just keep on doing open discussion drop-in math tutoring sessions and uh, basically I make myself available for a couple hours hopefully more often than we have been uh, but usually we've been doing it um, in the past um, once a week once every two weeks twice a month to four times a month uh, for these sessions and um, for my quick intro while people we wait for people uh, to drop in Sun Clover how are you doing good morning brother the stars aligned and I made it nice this is oh rookie 22 from discord nice how are you doing rookie I was uh, wondering about the Bank of Canada raising interest rates okay cool they say to combat inflation what else would that affect uh, because if I recall correctly they've been this low for a while now um, no yeah and um, Sun Clover uh, it's gonna have the interest rates control in large part centralized uh, centralized planning controls the economy through the manipulation of interest rates so let that sink in right so centralized governments in this situation right or bankers in this situation centralized capital as power which is a better word really right and we have if you do chicho and search for capital as power mainly uh differential accumulation video will pop up we've done like three four videos on this uh, as capital as power uh, it's related to uh, a thesis from jonathan nitsan and uh, his partner another professor uh, canadian israeli professors that have looked at the economy in a certain way using certain types of data and um basically there oh, let's get into this I want, i'll do my intro uh, later um maybe i should do my intro now should we do my intro now let's do the intro later okay let me do my intro now i'm gonna do it speedy gonzalez gang uh hanu mun mandi what's the time in canada it's 8 p.m in finland it is 10 a.m my time west coast of canada oh oh good morning Chicho. good morning cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well depends on where in Canada it's 11 a.m. yeah it depends on where in Canada I should say thank you very much Clover Canada has uh, three and a half uh, hours of time zones maybe four four and a half hours of time zones right um, Russia I believe has nine or ten right that's how wide it spans right brew who you brew clover let's do let's talk about this as soon as we do our intro and let people roll in right that way more people will catch this information and it is mathematics related so why not right why not 
can't wait for the next Chicho live stream with homemade liqueurs, peanut butter, pumpkin party. We gotta make pumpkin liqueur. That'll be really delicious too. Ah, miss the pumpkin season. Dang, dang, dang. Gang, if you want to follow this work, I am on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Chicho, C H Y C H O. And this is a root, the core thesis of what it is that I'm here to do, which is mathematics. So almost everything we do is layered on mathematics. And we're going to hit it up with the interest rate, uh, interest rates. And you'll see how that's connected to the politics and stuff like this as well. First time chat, chat, zom01. Hey, Chicho, first time catching your stream. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, zom. Zom, I'm doing well. When I'm doing mathematics, I'm doing well. I, I like math. It's simple. It's brilliant. It makes you think builds your makes you stronger makes you anti-fragile makes you smarter right spelling mishap liqueur liqueur what did you say liqueur yeah spelling uh, no worries on the spelling on the chat you should you, sh you should hear my pronunciations <laughs> and gang for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of the support we're getting on patreon and i'm able to do what it is that we are doing here so i thank you very much uh, for that support gang and i hope you're enjoying the content even though we go on tangents and we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-e-e -E. if you want to participate in the chat that's happening like here doo -doo -doo, we can bring the chat up peanut butter bumpkin party brought it up let's bring it up let's bring it up again so that we don't forget if you want to participate in the chat doop, doop, here twitch is where you want to be at and if you're here don't forget free assange free assange free assange julian assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on Sensor 2. We do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on Mines, VK Gallup, Parlor, Getter, and BitCloud. You can follow the work there. Uh, we do, at times, share additional information there as well. Nicholas, how are you doing? Hey, Chicho. Apologies, I had to dip out last stream. Hope there were still other mods around. There were. Elder God was around, which is cool. And usually, if I'm not cooking and stuff like this i can take care of the chat as well to a certain degree even though i'm a little slow at it uh I'm gonna linger in the background while i work awesome nicholas i hope you enjoy the content uh should be fun mathematics it's all good this 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 scene that you see here this is the scene that i interact with a lot uh, in my life it is who i communicate or how i communicate with my students privately so this is exactly what I do when I'm doing private math math sessions, right? So I'm very comfortable in this space, very happy in this space. Uh, and I love the whiteboard. <laughs> and I love the whiteboard. At one point, at some point anyway, we'll get a bigger one, right? Surrounded with comic books, big felt markers maybe. We'll see what we can do. And for live streams that we don't have any visuals, uh, we do now mathematics is visual 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 we do upload the audio of those live streams to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chy chicho is a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify itunes and google play first time chat math logic is one of the best hobbies to have nice asmr voice by the way getting tingles awesome first time chat exceller excel a trip excel a trip Welcome to our live stream and first time chat Lexen24. Hello, how are you doing? I hope you guys are having a fantastic, fantastic Sunday it is today, I believe. I hope it's Sunday. Oh, it's Monday today. It is Monday today, not Sunday. Lonely Piggy, how are you doing? Hey Chicho and chat. Hope everyone is doing well. Indeed, indeed. I hope you guys are enjoying your Monday. And we will be uploading the this live stream to Sensor to to pitch you to rumble and to odyssey so i don't see us talking about anything that is not permitted to be discussed on sensor tube so 
we will load the whole shebang onto sensor 2 Pichu, rumble and odyssey void hope checking in hello hello welcome to another math live stream let me take these guys down so we're going to do a little bit of mathematics okay and um i mentioned at the beginning that i might start doing more of these we had a little break for a while i might start doing more of these and i might start talking about certain topics cover certain topics specifically okay lonely piggy hard to enjoy the day with this snowstorm going on right now haha <laughs> especially considering i need to shovel my car out before work <laughs> yeah welcome to canada <laughs> the worst lonely piggy by the way if you all canadians will know this if you've lived in toronto area the the triangle and stuff like this and toronto east coast gets this a lot uh, but mainly i i've lived all over canada but this is something that i've mainly experienced in southern ontario which is ice rain or ice storms there's times where all of a sudden you don't get snow coming down you don't get rain coming down you get ice coming down and it covers the roads it covers your car so i've had to go out there i had one friend that totally lost it one day in toronto he his car he, every morning for a few days a couple of weeks it was just every morning was ice every morning was ice one day he just got flipped out he was in toronto and when there's ice on your car you have to dig it out like chisel out your car so you have to chisel out the key in the back in the day you didn't have blip blip to turn on the car to open the car you had to chisel out the car door if you got an old school car you have to chisel out the crack along the door so you can actually open your door now, this takes time this takes time canada live canada king canada live ottawa here this morning sucks ours king canada live and one day he lost it or one morning he lost it he went outside he had to he had to de-ice his windshield he couldn't do it he took a baseball bat to his windshield and bam 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 he got rid of the ice but unfortunately he had a lot of cracks you have to replace the windshield <laughs> and when you slide when you're driving you hit ice i don't if there's the slightest bit of slant on the road even if you're full stop you put on your brakes the car will keep on sliding there's nothing you can do about it yeah you can steer a little bit but you gotta be careful that's my ice story of fun stuff um people popping in acceler trip when monday and sunday feel the same to you something good is probably happening in your life <laughs> awesome <laughs> that's good to see giga stream torrent uh, torontonian here so much snow so much snow wow wow i lived through a few uh i lived in, in ontario for six years basically Whew. man the winters there are hard 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 lonely piggy i hear that even here in montreal we've got that issue pretty often super dangerous people panic a lot on the roads yeah ice on the ground is crazy dangerous cheryl that's what we have right now well last night fingers crossed it melts and dries before it freezes tonight Oof. be careful if you're on the roads gang elder god how are you doing i have had to key a uh, chip an ice car yeah sometimes the ice is like this thick right like it's crazy it's crazy walking is extremely dangerous as well you're like ice skating and again if there's a slant on the sidewalk or the road you can't stop like you're on ice zero friction if you know physics zero friction basically zero friction slant what are you gonna do <laughs> you're just gonna go ooh, ooh. <laughs> and boom, if you do this oh the tailbone back of your head if you bang it not nice first time chat steadily steadily penguin 
<laughs> now this is some good channel also and i have a question for you what is two plus two it could be four usually it's four if you're talking scalar if you're talking vector it could be anywhere between zero to four in general right again don't forget free assange free assange free julian assange he's a publisher he's a journalist he has been trying to bring accountability and transparency of capitalist power to humanity and he's being persecuted for it okay for more information see wikileaks.org defend.wikileaks.org or, or julian assange or wikileaks playlist on censor tube cheryl oi i've had a few <laughs> bumps down the front few st oh my god steps to steps ouch only witnesses witness once by a student in the way to high school yeah ouch ouch if you fall down the steps on icy icy steps that is not a good time not a good time and gang thank you very much for the follows uh appreciate it the king stay the king the king stay the king hey chicho i know you won't teach in a conventional school setting but if you did what type of math classes would you prefer to teach um what do you mean what type of math classes i enjoy all grades really i enjoy teaching young kids how to count to teaching older kids older students really to how to do calculus how to take derivatives how to graph polynomial functions or functions in general the trigonometry is amazing study penguin yes free assange indeed cheryl he rolled over to make sure i was okay not sure if i was more embarrassed uh that he saw or that he felt the need to check on me uh, it's you know what i'm one of those people when i see people wipe out i crack up i laugh i know some people say chicho don't do that it's not nice they might be hurt i go well i don't i, I don't see it as being hurt i hope they're not hurt but man i'm slapstick i like the slap slapstick <laughs> like benny hill or uh, dave allen allen at large uh like slaps the comedy that's uh that's what it seems to me giga stream asmr hit hard uh hit hard reason for that free assange me uh, memo free assange nice the only piggy ice is the king of embarrassing moments in the top the yin yang <laughs> chirpy pop fun oh i was laughing yeah yeah i laugh too i've met some people that don't find it funny um i do and i've hurt myself falling hurts i have never slipped on ice really am i missing out elder god you're missing out <laughs> you want to know how hard you can take a hit jump up in the air and free fall down close your eyes don't know where you're gonna get hit that's what falling on ice is uh, you know because all of a sudden you just your legs just go wham and within a fraction of a second you're you're hitting concrete like solid ground boom Oof. sometimes it knocks your breath away the worst if you boom fall down like this and hit the back of your head that's that's concussion territory ronnie how are you doing Ichicho? i received some offer for a job and i decided to accept one offer nice feels bad uh sending out that job rejection email <laughs> sorry took another one i hope you love it i hope you love it ronnie lonely piggy i went to my automod zap this one i went to my i'm gonna allow this and read it when i see it down down below the king stays the king hope you negotiated them against each other before taking one ronnie <laughs> good oh my god like suffering a, a foot sweep in a tournament uh, yeah but during a tournament you can accept that right you sort of prepare for that because you're physically in in the state of mind that you're in a competition so you got to be solid you got to be ready to take a hit when you're walking don't especially downstairs 
in the back of your mind you might think that you might slip if it's 100% if it's 100% ice then yeah you better have that in mind but sometimes just patches you're not expecting it just just imagine not expecting a hit boom full load right whatever you weigh hitting you uh, it can hurt Long, uh, lonely piggy I went to my girlfriend's cottage in the weekend in the middle of a uh, butt buck nowhere um, we hit a patch of black ice on a turn ouch ended up in a ditch about a foot off from a tree we got lucky a group of five stopped and came to uh, came to help us I couldn't push that thing by myself as much as my pride wanted me to <laughs> you lucked out hitting black ice is super dangerous Cheryl no control and getting back up but <laughs> yeah getting back up it's the sheet of ice that's the real entertainment <laughs> it is it is I've had that happen when you fall down and everything's ice and there's nothing to hold on to you're trying to get up but you can't get friction so you're just wiping out boom, 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 boom. super funny super funny etc how do you describe a line in 3d rather than the usual 2d how do you describe a, oh yeah we gotta do the interest rate question how do you describe a line in 3d rather than the usual 2d um like like the coordinate system like this is here so this is the x-axis right when you have one dimension you have one direction but you can go this way and this way but it's one one planar right one direction right so that's one direction 1d here's 2d right here's y so you got two directions right you can go this way and you can go up and down so that's two direction 2d right 3d you don't have to draw the line you can just imagine this thing coming in and out that's 3d or you can just add another line this way I know people like making this X Y and that one Z in uh, in mathematics but I like it this way because I usually go from 2d to 3d right and I usually make this Z so that would be your third co uh, coordinate right so if you're one dimension if this is let's say point uh, 2 right or let's just call this 2 and then you want to go to two dimension let's say one two three four you go to four right so two dimension you would be here bring these two guys together that's where you are in a two-dimensional world so you have an x and a y right x and a y now if you want to take this to three dimension all you got to do is go let's do this one two three four five six seven so two four and seven now where would we put that go up you hit it here you hit it here i don't where would we put that actually we would go this way uh, this way and that way something here would be uh two four and seven I'm not really good at drawing the 3d aspect of it right but that's what it is that's where you would put it so you would take this if this was at zero zero so this point is here you would go actually it would be further up here it'd be one two three four five six seven so it'd be like here okay that's point two four and seven which is x y and z okay because you would just go off in this direction right so two and then two and four would be you're at two you go up to four so you're here and then seven would be this would be equivalent to you being here on a three-dimensional and then you go one two three four five six seven and you have to be parallel to this guy that's the best way uh, I would do it Joe Chicho doing my paper round on a bike when the roads were icy um, were always a fun game of how long until I wipe off and only a kid could do that right because you recoup much faster um, 
who was it the interest rate question who was it that asked the interest rate question uh your new name uh sun clover are you going to be sticking around um i'm just going to get caught up with the chat and then we can do the interest rate question if you like uh, ronnie uh, one wasn't willing to negotiate but yeah i got uh competitive offers from both nice uh, the job that i rejected had a ten thousand k more base pay but the other company had really good other benefits that made up for it. cool awesome good 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 you're you're doing it the right way last night we were out driving went to friend's place for dinner we're coming back on the way to friend's place we saw a and w was hiring people for 1750 an hour a and w fast food restaurant right our junk food <laughs> no food i don't know what you call it right? a and w had a on a bill, billboard 1750 an hour hiring right on the way back we saw mcdonald's and mcdonald's was 18 dollars an hour hiring right so there's competition in fast food places junk food places right the mcdonald's one was night though evening so cheryl this all sounds like a great math problem what force was applied to a back side hitting the ground it would be your weight and then boof do the how high you jumped up right how, from what elevation were you starting off at <laughs> and well, you know do your kinetic potential energy right it would be this right it would be here let's do a quick quick little kinetic potential energy right so this is the road this is the ground cheryl is walking <laughs> i would cheryl i'm sorry i'm putting you in the skirt Cheryl is walking this way. I, I I twisted too fast that I had I couldn't I didn't want to erase it. Okay, Cheryl is walking this way. She goes, uh, whoop, legs kick up, and now she's like this. Ah, this is that's her height, right? now potential energy you would have to start off with right potential energy would be uh, energy uh, potential is uh, mgh mgh right i'm pretty sure it's mgh <laughs> right first time chat rob loxer hello hello so mass times gravity times the height so I have no idea how much Cheryl weighs. I doubt if Cheryl's gonna tell us how much she weighs. I don't mind the skirt, but I, but I, snow in snow. I'm probably just a, a long, long parka. Yeah, for sure. And long parka, fantastic. Parkas have like little fluffy goose feathers in here, so they'll pad, pad your bum, right? Okay. That's a lot of forward motion. That's a lot of forward. She was running. She was running. So whatever Cheryl's mass is, let's assume general mass. And you're going to do this in kilograms, uh, the units here. Let's write down the units for this. The units for this would be kilograms. We're going to go with SI units. Gravity would be meters per second square and height would be in meters okay so let's assume they jump up one meter one and a half meter <laughs> one and a half meter so the mass if we're going to do kilograms let's take average mass that you know for a male anyway uh because i know my mass in kilograms basically right so my mass would be um 75 kilograms 75 80 kilograms 75 80 kilograms right let's go 80 kilograms right times gravity which is 9.8 okay meters per second squared and the height would be one and a half meters 1.5 meters so let's assume that's a 10 we can approximate this 1.5 times 8 is 120 120 times 10 is 1200 1200 um, energy would be joules. Energy is joules. Man, I've known this physics for a while, right? 65. 65 kilograms? No. 
65 is uh, what would that be in pounds 65 kilograms would be uh, 201 pounds uh, 65 kilograms would be around 160 pounds I think right yeah so 1200 joules um, momentum momentum would be wow momentum we can't figure out we need to figure out the speed first 143 pounds wow 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 you're at 97 kilograms cool cool so 65 uh what do you call it kilograms is 143 pounds shoot nightbot 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 says nightbot says rob loxer rob loxer nightbot says free assange free assange free assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. Now, check this out. Right now, that would be the beginning stages of our system in play, right? So, Cheryl would have this much energy in her, right? There would be zero uh, velocity, right? So her kinetic energy, energy kinetic, energy kinetic would be zero. Okay. Now, in physics, what we know, <laughs> it's okay, Elder God. <laughs> nice job. In physics, what we know is we have to have conservation of energy, right? So let me erase this. Might as well take this a little bit further than just the potential energy that Cheryl has, right? I'll take it as far as I remember the formulas, right? So at the initial system, initial condition, initial, uh, there's the total energy in the system is going to be energy potential plus energy, oops, energy kinetic, E kinetic, E kinetic. So energy potential for Cheryl would be 1,200 joules, I think it's joules, man, plus zero, all right? We'll kill the units just in case. So 1,200 plus zero because she has zero kinetic energy. At the bottom here, when Cheryl hits the ground, whap, right? She's going to have zero um, potential energy, but she's going to hit the ground at a certain speed, right? First time chat, Z, Zyphol. Diddy, love science, always been a passion, uh, always been a passion, this physics. Yeah, physics is amazing, right? Uh, the root of it being mathematics, of course, right? So initial condition is this. Final condition, kinetic uh, potential energy is zero because she's not at any height, right? Potential energy is mgh, but if her height is zero, this is our zero the ground, right? Well, anything, whatever the mass is, times whatever gravity is, which is 9.8, times zero, it's just zero. So her potential energy is going to be whatever the potential energy, which is zero, and she's going to have a kinetic energy. And kinetic energy, K kinetic, energy kinetic is one half mv squared, right? Uh, yeah, one half mv squared. Help message. Uh, if the radius, uh, <laughs> <I understand. laughs> this is from our last yesterday. So what is the volume of the uh, bearing beneath the HG show? <laughs> we definitely have to allow that. That links up to our previous thing, right? So one half mv squared. So we have to figure out what her velocity is going to be, right? And this, right? This has to be um, zero plus one half mv squared, right? We don't know what her velocity is going to be, right? We know what, what her mass is, or what my mass is, 80 kilograms, right? So what's going to happen is, in physics, you got conservation of energy. Energy initial must equal energy final so energy initial must equal energy final energy initial is 1200 
energy final is one half mv squared. Now the m usually, not usually, but sometimes when you do this, you you don't plug in the numbers right away. You leave leave it as a formula because the mass is going to kill the mass, right? On this side, this side is mgh, right? The m is going to kill the m. But let's put it in, right? So this is going to be 100, 1,200 is equal to one half. 80 v squared goes 40 times divided by 40 divided by 40 0 kills 0 120 divided by 4 is 30 v squared bring this here so velocity is going to be the square root of 30 meters per second okay that's how fast she's going to be hitting the ground right what is that in kilometers per hour should we do conversion to kilometers per hour so we get a feel for how fast this is right let's do convert it to kilometers per hour okay and then we'll figure out the momentum right well, momentum is uh, momentum is mv right i'm always calling an ambulance for sure <laughs> <laughs> I'm already calling that the literature. So square root of 30, right? Let's here, we'll leave it a square root of 30. So square root of 30 meters per second, okay, hitting the ground. We want to convert this to um, kilometers per hour just to get a visual of how fast that is. So if we're going to convert anything to from meters per second to kilometers per hour, kilometers per hour right what you need to do is you got to get rid of the seconds here so you put seconds here and seconds is a quick jump to minutes right so seconds we're going to convert to minutes and the conversion rate there is one minute is 60 seconds but we want hours in the bottom so hours we're going to put minutes here and there's minutes is a direct conversion to hours so we're going to put hours here so one hour is 60 minutes right so seconds kills seconds minutes kills minutes we've got hours in the bottom which is what we needed right and then what we want we want to convert meters to kilometers because we want kilometers in the top so what you do is you put meters in the bottom meters is a direct conversion to kilometers you put kilometers here and one kilometer is a thousand meters right and this conversion, if you do this multiplication, square root of 30 times 60 times 60 divided by 1,000, will convert it to kilometers per hour. So let's kill off the zeros first. One zero kills one zero. One zero kills one zero. Two goes into this five times. Two goes into this three times. Three times six is 18. It's going to be, here, we'll write it down here. Square root of 30 times 18 divided by five right let's just do this with a calculator oh you're missing the little bit of bottom here let me make this five so you see it okay let's make it bigger so you actually see the five five right so let's punch this into a calculator what do we get uh 30 square root times 18 boing divided by 5 so that's 98.6 divided by 5 which is just basically going to be 20 right so 19.7 okay so 19.7 kilometers per hour which is basically 20 kilometers per hour okay 20 kilometers per hour so if you want to get a feel of how hard Cheryl is going to hit the ground just imagine someone standing and a car driving at 20 kilometers per hour hits them. Boom. All right? Now, 20 kilometers per hour doesn't seem that fast, but when you have a force, solid force, hitting you at 20 kilometers per hour where the force doesn't move and you're the only thing that's going to be moving, because their weight is infinite compared to yours and the ground weights is infinite compared to Cheryl's weight okay like coming off a fast bike like coming off a fast bike but you're not rolling 
right? You wouldn't be rolling. You wouldn't be, um, what do you call it? Slowing down your impact in any way, right? And there's you're hitting, uh, coming off a fast bike, not hitting the ground, but jumping in the air and hitting a solid wall. Boom. <laughs> right? Because everybody's wiped out on a bike. When you wipe out on a bike, you could wipe out. Sometimes you're going really fast, but when you wipe out, the ground is on, on the ground and you can roll and you're not going into a wall, right? Uh, Cheryl, I had a bruise that matched the math. <laughs> I'm not thinking it's time to swap. <laughs> Yak tracks for full crampon. <laughs> I have no idea what those are, but okay. <laughs> but we have a formula for how long it takes to clear snow from the highway in the UK. It's roughly Canada's time taken for the same task multiplied by 50 plus traffic delays from, from school moms crashing their cars. <laughs> Hilarious. And that's because the UK doesn't get as much snow as Canada, right? Not even close. Oh my God, I have come off a fast bike. It's like hitting a wall if you are uh, tossed. Yeah, if you're tossed, yeah. But man, hard. As far as the momentum of this, as far as the momentum, momentum is uh, MV, I think, man. I hope I'm right. Uh, MV. MV. I think so, man. I haven't done this for a while. I'm going to look this up. Uh, if someone wants to confirm, please do. Momentum formula. Momentum formula. Slow mo momentum formula. And change in velocity. Yeah. So momentum is velocity, uh, mass times change in velocity, right? Joe Chicho, is there a way to convert that into G-force? Um, yeah, I don't know how to do it. I don't know the formula. G-force, there was a crash in the recent Formula One uh, season where a driver crashed and experienced 51 G-force? 51 times the force of gravity? No, it couldn't have been 51. That would crush, that would make him like a pancake 51 g-force you sure about joe like when fighter jets fly and stuff i think human beings pass out at 5g or something many human beings pass out when they experience uh five times the force of gravity right he hit the barrier sideways at about 160 miles per hour 6g 51g no 51g force is not 6g is it or ronnie are you saying people pass out of 6g i think pass out for fighter jets is 6g if you know joe if you're comfortable with that um uh, with those numbers we can do a direct ratio comparison that's all we need to do so we don't need the formula we can just do a ratio comparison because we're gonna have uh what do we need we have Cheryl's speed. So we can convert kilometers per hour to miles per hour and then just do a ratio comparison, right? Hello, I'm a snake. Hey, Chicho. I've been studying some math lately. I've got a question. Let's say you were riding a motorcycle that goes 200 miles per hour and you were chasing a car that was going 160 miles per hour. You are 1,000 feet, 34 meters away from the car. How many seconds will it take to be parallel to the car? Yeah, we can do this question. How long a snake? Bring it up. Uh, post it again as soon as we finish this discussion, and then we can do it. Uh, Ronnie, yeah, I've uh, seen YouTube videos where pilots pass out of 6G. 6G, cool, cool. 1G is about 22 miles per hour a second, I think. Is it? Is it that low? No, it can't be that low. Is it that low, 1G? I think 51 G was the force which people pressed the off button on their TV remote after they, after they 
stole the championship from Lewis Hamilton. <laughs> funny, funny, funny. So if that, I can't be 51G. 51G would be insane. First time chat. What are we drawing? We're calculating uh, how hard someone will hit the ice if they if you had freezing rain come down so if they slip and if they're falling from a height of 1.5 meters 1.5 meters we calculated how fast they're going to hit the ground which is going to be 20 kilometers per hour or equivalent to uh, square root of 30 meters per second okay so now what we're going to do is figure out what their momentum is going to be which is going to be 80 kilometer 80 kilograms times the square root of 30 so 80 times the square root of 30 what is that 80 80 times 30 square root the momentum is going to be 438 438 now what's the units of momentum uh, what's the units of momentum uh, Joe it would have been later lateral G and not vertical G okay which is uh, what fighter pilots experience okay so the G is is uh, this way not vertical is that what it, what it means I don't know I don't know the terminology on this stuff uh, what is momentum momentum un units of momentum uh, is it force? No, momentum would be. Uh, oh, come on. Momentum, momentum. What's. Uh... Oh, I can't believe this formula doesn't have the units. Come on. Come on. Anybody know what the units of momentum are? It was instant as well, lasted far less than one second. Wow. Wow, wow. I just want the word for it. It's not it's not jewels, is it? No, it can't be jewels. I'm just reading a website right now where oh come on, unit. SI unit for mounting. Oh, there's no word for it. Kilograms uh, meters per second. Yeah, we know that, but is, isn't there a word for it? Kilograms, meters per second. Momentum, unit. Unit. Why is this so difficult? SI unit. What is the unit of momentum? What's it called? Kilogram kilogram meters per second that's all it's called there's no word for it kilogram meters per second okay kilogram meters per second that's what momentum would be all right because mass is kilograms velocity is meters per second Boink. kilogram meters per second okay yeah not a good experience sliding on ice flying up into the air and boom solid impact into the ground and if there's stairs here if this happens to you on stairs just imagine walking down stairs <laughs> pretty big stairs walking down stairs right and you fly up into the air come down and just imagine, because this force is going to be distributed along your whole body if you hit it flat, which is a good thing to do, right? Except the head, protect the head. If you come down and hit one of these ledges, all that force on a little corner, ouch, ouch. Allegon, an acceleration of 1G equates to a rate of change in velocity of approximately 35 kilograms per meter uh, per hour oh kilometers not kilo 35 kilometers per hour 
22 for each second that elapses so that's the acceleration still confused so 35 kilometers per hour for each second that passes oh per hour so we have to convert that per to seconds that's what the acceleration would be uh, we can do the conversion is momentum just deceleration in a different context is momentum just deceleration in a different no it doesn't have to be decelerating it's what the amount of uh, force or momentum you have at a particular time traveling at a certain speed right at a certain speed is momentum just deceleration in a different context no i wouldn't say that uh, i wouldn't say that does that make sense to people i got a delicious number when i try <laughs> you got a delicious number when you try <laughs> let's let's do hold on let's do this um so 1g is 20 and let's do kilometers per hour gang uh kilometers per hour i will get my calculator <laughs> your calculator Oh, not delicious. Ridiculous number when I tried. Elder God says, I got a ridiculous number when I tried. <laughs> I read that as delicious. Delicious is good. Uh, ridiculous could be interesting as well. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. So, uh, gravity is 9 meters per second squared. Earth gravity. So, gravity gravity earth is 9.8 meters per second squared uh the number elder god pulled out was 35 kilometers per hour for each second that passes so it's per hour per second right so 35 kilometers per hour per second so what we need to do is convert 35 kilometers per hour to meters per second to get a comparison of what it would be in gravity in g's should be anyway i'm sort of out of my element here to a certain degree but the math should just be the math repost the question okay awesome we're almost to that to your question uh, hello i'm a snake does the speed double per a second of event would it double think so I think so Joe Chicho there was a Formula One race car in the 70s where Marshall got hit by a car oh a person got hit by a car at 170 70 miles per hour his body was mutilated so bad they had to identify which Marshall had been hit by assembling them all and seeing which one was missing are you uh, this is a joke no what <laughs> what when Marshall got hit by a car the, his body was mutilated so bad they had to identify which Marshall <laughs> by sounding along. so at the end, below the whistle the person missing is the Marshall that got hit oh no this is for real they couldn't tell no it really happened whoa so no yeah it would disintegrate the body terminal velocity the shell <laughs> terminal velocity and terminal velocity is when you don't accelerate anymore force of friction is holding you up it happened in 1977 wow that's nasty that's nasty so disintegration at 170 miles per hour serious pain in the ass at 20 kilometers per hour right uh, for this one let's convert kilometers same deal uh, kilometers we're going to kill the kilometers and we're going to convert it to uh, meters one kilometer is one thousand okay and we're going to kill one of the uh, hours um, so we want to kill hours we go to minutes and then we're going to kill minutes and go to uh, seconds so one hour 60 minutes one hour 60 seconds zero kill zero zero kill zero two goes in this five times two goes in that three times so you got 35 times five over 
3 times 6, right? And no, that doesn't go in there, that doesn't go in there. So we just have to do this now. Uh, do the calculation on it with the calculator. 35, I hope I'm doing this right. If I'm not, either you guys are going to catch it or someone on the video after we upload it is going to catch it. Divided by 18. Divided by 18. Yeah, it comes out to 9.72. Cool. So this comes out to 9.72 meters per second square. And based on our error and stuff like this, that's gravity. So 9.8 meters per second squared is the same thing. 35. So what they're talking about, Aldegod, is acceleration, right? So someone is accelerating in 9.8 meters per second per second, right? That's the f acceleration that you're feeling. So 35 kilometers per hour per second is equivalent to 9.8 meters per second squared. Okay. It was a good confirmation, checking it out. Glad it worked. Palm, I've seen a guy jump from a 10-story building and hit the sidewalk outside my school in London 20 years ago. I've not dropped an egg on my kitchen floor since without flashbacks. Oh, shite. I don't know why I'm laughing, but there is laughter in there somewhere. Physics killed me in college. Still gives me nightmares. Physics, it's, it's the system you have to get comfortable with. Should we do the other physics question? Let's do the other question. Uh, hello, I'm a snake. Thanks for posting this. So this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Um, this little calculation, fun stuff, fun stuff. Let's do this next question. Let me erase this. Should we change colors, pen colors? This one's harder to get off. Let's get a new color. Let's get purple. We'll do this other one in purple. on cake I hope you guys got good snacks I hope you guys got good snacks first time chat mean clear bam bams late to class I'm so sorry no worries oh my god definitely the wrong email for you was <laughs> that gun <laughs> oh my god gonna have to call your mother uh funny oh wow is that strawberry this is uh, sort of armenian pastry and on the top is um uh cornelian cherry and plum jam homemade we made it mixed together my mom made these super yummy Let's read the question. There it is. So, again, yeah. here's our question. Okay. Now, this is a um, physics speed related question, right? Uh, the motorcycle. So reposted question, motorcycle is going at 200 miles per hour. We're going to do kilometers per hour. So motorcycle is going at 321 kilometers per hour. Okay. So here's a motorcycle. <laughs> you draw a motorcycle. <laughs> here's a dude riding a motorcycle. His legs are sticking like. So dude riding a motorcycle is going 321 kilometers per hour. 321 kilometers per hour. 
and the car is going at 160 miles per hour, which is 257 kilometers per hour. That's really fast for a car. So a car, there's a car. Actually, a car, motorcycle was behind the car. So let's draw this properly. So a car, is going at velocity is what is that 257 kilometers per hour 257 oops where's the seven 257 kilometers per hour and for those people who love miles 200 miles per hour 200 miles per hour which is insanely fast and 160 miles per hour for a car is pretty damn fast okay the motorcycle is 1,000 feet. 1,000 feet, or the equivalent of 340 meters, right? 300, 304 meters, not 40, 4 meters away from the car. How much time in seconds will it take for the motorcycle to be next to the car? When is the motorcycle going to catch up to the car? time equals question mark okay so whenever you're doing physics problems it's a really good idea to draw transfer all the information visually on your paper and get a feel for what the question is asking you okay first time chat raven how are you doing welcome to our live stream first time chat cheyenne hello how are you how are you doing good Cheyenne thank you very much and welcome to our live stream wow some people popped in pawn is Armenian pastry similar to take Turkish pastry that's the best of how um, we, we have overlaps for sure we have overlaps for sure uh, pawn 300 321 mile, kilometers per hour is the maximum speed on a straight of f1 pretty much really yeah this is like crazy fast that's like you go on this fast you better hope the wind's not blowing right okay we learning some math we learning some math we learning some math so what you want to do is the motorcycle is a thousand me well 304 meters behind this guy so you want to find out when so Initial situation is this, initial. Let's draw this. Here's the motorcycle. Wink, wink. Here's the motorcycle. Here's the car. That's the initial condition. 304 meters. Final condition is gonna be motorcycle and the car are both together right the motorcycle caught up to the car okay what's the best way to do this time we need our kinematics formulas let me bring out kinematics formulas i never memorize these kinematic formulas boom Kinematic formulas. Here we go. So we got four formulas. Where are we going to put this so we have enough room to deal with the stuff? I'm going to put the formulas right here. Velocity final is equal to velocity initial plus AT. Acceleration times time. Next formula. Distance final is equal to Dun, 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 dun. distance initial di plus velocity initial v i t plus one half t squared plus plus one half t squared okay. t one half a t squared i hope you guys see this is this big enough for you guys to see yeah, that's big enough for you guys to see. One half AT squared 
velocity final velocity final squared is equal to velocity initial squared plus uh, 2 a d 2 a d or delta d changes in distance and distance final that one yeah sure let's write down that one too so distance final is equal to distance initial distance initial plus one half delta v t and delta v is uh, change in velocity right change in velocity first time chat aussie gaming I'm learning more than I learned in the school. <laughs> the school system pretty much sucks. Centralized education system. Try to bamboo the oh Try to bamboo it off with unnecessary unit conversions. Haha. <laughs> Jurassi, first time chat. Ah, yes. Physics, physics. Chaps. I wish I did too. All I understand from this is the car drawing, my car drawing. You, what do you mean? You don't like my motorcycle? <laughs> my motorcycle is pretty good. <laughs> miles per hour makes more sense instead of miles per hour. Yeah. Yeah. But the M MPH per hour for real. For real. You should do math tutorials more often. I know. I, I, we were doing at least two a month, sometimes three or four a month. Uh, but I have a lot of math videos out there. I've got like hundreds of math instructional videos that I've made over the last 15 years. And we're going to be doing a lot more math live streams, by the way. He does have a great way of explaining things, right? I try, I try, <laughs> I try. So check this out. What do we need to calculate? We need to calculate T, time, right? But we need to do something else because we can't put this system together in one shot. We need to, what's the best way of doing this? What's the best way of doing this? Mm -hmm. Oh, we could do one thing. We could do one calculation. You guys want to do a, do a sort of a, um, if you think about this, I think this should work, by the way. I think this should work. Okay. I wouldn't convert everything feet per second. Watch this. Watch this. So the motorbike is going at 321 kilometers per hour, right? The car is going as 257 kilometers per hour. Now think about this. If they were both going the same speed, then the distance between them is not going to close, right? If the motorbike is going slower than the car, then the motorbike will never catch up to the car. The distance between them is getting longer, right? Or further apart. But if the motorcycle is going faster than the car, then all you really need to know to calculate is how much faster is the motorcycle going relative to the car. Because if they're both going the same speed, the distance is not going to close. So any extra speed that the motorbike can, can go faster than the car, then really he's the motor the motorcycle is just catching up to the car at that speed. It's relative. So if you want to find out how fast the motorcycle is going to travel, basically that's what you're asking. How fast is a motorcycle going to travel 304 meters? right with the speed differential so all you need to do is go 321 minus 257 because that's the speed difference between them goes once 11 4 2 11 6 so the motorcycle is going at 61 61 kilometers per hour faster than the car right first time viewer by followers primes and views on by followers primes and views on pond if the car breaks really suddenly then the fastest thing in in the problem will be the right <laughs> yeah because whoa, 
first of all, the car, the guy's now got his wind, seat belt on. He's going to go through the windshield. And if the bike doesn't realize that this guy's braked, this guy is going to hit the car and go poof, right? Some people can fly, though. Some people can fly. Brakes. Uh, Sanklo or Chicho. Will you have time to tackle my question? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, because this is going to be really quick. The interest rate. I totally forgot about it. Sunclover, thank you very much for bringing it up. I feel like a potato. 200 miles per hour. Pop, 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 pop. Me too. Go, Carlo. <laughs> so, basically, we're asking ourselves. So, bike. Oops. Not K. Biker. Biker. Biker is traveling 664 kilometers per hour faster than the car right so all you need to figure out is how long is it going to take the biker traveling at 64 kilometers per hour to travel 304 meters and that's one of these formulas right what do we need what do we need mm -mm -mm -mm. we don't have acceleration right so we don't need acceleration we can get rid of any formula that has acceleration right Distance final, distance initial, change in velocity, difference in velocity. This is the formula we need, right? So distance initial, we could put the motorbike at zero, right? Distance, oh, sorry, distance final, we can put the motorbike at 304, 304 meters. Distance initial is zero. He's starting at zero meters plus one half. Change. Oh, no, 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 we don't need this. We just, what am I doing? We just need, <laughs> that's crazy. I was thinking about something else. So velocity is equal to distance over time. That's all we need. That's the only form that we need. So distance is going to be, uh, sorry, time is going to be distance divided by velocity. Distance is 304 meters. Velocity is 64 meters per second. And the units will cancel out right bum, ba, da, dum, ba. uh kilometers per hour and oh hold on a second this is in meters this is in kilometers per hour so we got to convert 304 meters to kilometers which is going to be 0 0.304 kilometers divided by kilometers per hour so the units we're going to get out is hours. So we're going to go. Ba -ba -da -dum -bum -bum -bum. It's okay, Mr. Potato Head. Da -da -da -da. 30 miles per hour equals 44 feet per second. A fact I always remember. Cool, cool. So point zero, uh, sorry, point three zero four divided by 64 is going to be point zero. Here, we'll put it here. Point zero zero four seven five hours and if you want to find out how many seconds that is then you're gonna go zero point zero zero four seven five hours times hours here in the bottom and minutes in the top one hour sixty minutes and then do the same thing multiplied by minutes same conversion we've done to seconds 160 so it's going to be 0 0.00475 times 60 times 60 boop he's going to catch up in 17 seconds 17.1 seconds okay that's how fast it's going to be Which is pretty good. Which is pretty good. Okay. Let's do the. Sorry if I went at the, the last part of it. I went crazy fast because I uh, totally forgot about the interest rate question. Okay. Um, Sun Clover, can you post your question again, please? That way I can read it instead of me having to scroll all the way up in the chat while I take this thing down. Okay, I hope this makes sense. That's the easiest way to do this calculation, by the way. Just find a differential between them and 
plug it into velocity is equal to distance over time, right? And then do your cross multiplication, you got your time. scroll up and gang don't forget free Assange free Assange free Assange Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity uh, da, 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 da. three stooges it was interest rate question basically three stooges was asking uh, not three stooges uh, sun clover was asking how are interest rates going to affect um, I can't find his original his original question was actually posted on our discord page uh, reposted question oh Elga thank you uh, that was the reposted question for the moral by question we just did uh, as for the question that uh, clover was asking First time chat, Zikrev, Sima, yo man, what's up? What's up? Hope you're doing well. We're gonna we're about to talk some personal finance, economics. Allo, allo. Okay, here's a question that Clover asked on our Discord page, and you can go to our Discord channel anytime you like. We got different folders. Oops, this cord doing good i hope you're doing well also you can come to our chat anytime you want and just type in exclamation mark discord and the link will pop up there the link will be in the description of this video after it's been loaded up but basically in our personal finance folder and heavy topics uh clover asked the following question that how interest rates a rise in interest rates or is, is going to affect our current economic system interest rates is relation to in to inflation no interest rates should be uh, in relation to inflation to a certain degree that's what centralized power likes to do but the way you need to think about interest rates centrally controlled interest rates is banks capital as power centralized institutions that control monetary policy okay of a nation basically use interest rates to manipulate the economy to social engineer a society okay as well as uh, participating in crony capitalism where certain segment of society is able to acquire cheap money right basically free money helicopter money some people call it or whatever it is just drop money basically can get money at no cost and then they can take that money okay take that currency and put it into systems where they make interest or at least higher interest than how much is costing them to get the money right so let me give you let's clarify that for a second right so interest rates right now function like this. You have a central body that decides what the interest rates going to be. Okay. This central body is controlled by banks. 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 Right? There are different types of banks, but in general, banks control this body right so these groups of people that are sitting on the boards of directors and a lot of them are large corporations and stuff like this control the central body let's call this the fed right. let's call it the federal reserve bank and these are privately owned institutions right now there is such a thing called government here 
the is a little thing over there. No one pays it attention because the original definition of government was by the people for the people, but it's not really. This is this this thing here that runs a nation is basically controlled by these people here, right? So these people here control the monetary policy of this nation, right? And what happens is they set the interest rate. And the interest rate basically is the control of money, right? Okay. Yeah, I couldn't find a question either. I think it's in our Discord, Elder God. I looked up. But basically, he wanted to know how interest rate will affect our society, right? That's what we're talking about here, right? So these private institutions, right, control the monetary policy of a nation. And that basically means how much money is in the system, right? They control the interest. So when there's low interest, other institutions, whatever these institutions might be, okay, some of them are banks, banks, some of them are companies, some of them are just institutions, some of them are people, right? Some of them are this, some of them are that. They're just different whatever is in the economy, really, that gets the first pick, right? The money goes towards these guys, right? Whatever the interest rate's going to be. Now, there's a lot of people that are controlling these companies, right? Tech companies, tech companies, right? Wall Street, Wall Street, right? There's a lot of people that are sitting on the board of directors of these companies or own these companies that are also on the board of directors and have stakes in these banks that control the interest rates and vice versa. A lot of people here have stake in all of these companies, right? So what happens is these guys decide the interest rate of a nation and that decides how much money is going to be pumped into the system and when the interest rates are really low whatever they may be these people well whatever the interest rate might, might be these people get first dibs at whatever interest they're collecting right and then these people these might be the banks might be private investment funds or whatnot these people filter out the money or these institutions filter out the money into the general economy, right? All right, me and you. In terms of inflation, in terms of debt, right? Oh God, hey, this problem isn't the place for this, but I unfortunately slept in and missed the live stream this morning. Uh, I was planning on asking you about inflation Oh, there it is. That's right. That's the question. Elder God, awesome. So this was the question that was posted on our Discord. Uh, I was planning on asking you about inflation and the Bank of Canada planning on raising interest rates. What, what your opinion on all of that was and how a raising interest rate will help, as they say, combat inflation. But uh, what else that could affect? If it's too much to type, let me know. Maybe I'll try to ask you next live stream so we can get your response in a video format. Awesome. Hope that's so. That's the one Elder God. Awesome. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, I stepped away and I couldn't control. No problem, Clover. Thank you very much, Elder God, for tracking it down. Okay. So, recap. These private institutions really control the Federal Reserve that is supposed to represent the government, which is supposed to be a body centralized body put to put there by the people for the people but it's not because this doesn't have really have too much say regarding what the fed does because the fed is mainly controlled by these private institutions and organizations these guys control the money flow into the system by manipulating the interest rate okay and the institutions 
people, organizations that get first dibs on the amount of money when the money is coming out or who's being flooded with money, right? Because these people have a lot of debt as well. So what they can do is sell the debt to the Fed, right? The Fed buys their crap junk, right? And then these people, their wealth goes up, right? Because they're getting cheap money. And then they filter out the money to the people who are supposed to control the government, but they don't, right? These people flood the money or pass on the money to the people, right? Now, guess what? Whatever interest these guys are getting this money at, this interest rate is much higher, right? So for example, right now, we take an extreme example. If we take an extreme example, Fed's fund rate, I don't know what it is. In Europe, it's negative, right? Negative, right? But let's assume it was 1% right now that the Federal Reserve is making money available to these institutions, right? Well, the amount, the, the money that these people can get from these institutions, the interest rate varies depending on how good your credit is and which institution you're dealing with, right? So the best interest, the lowest interest that any of these people will ever get a chance to get money at would be their mortgage because there's back securities on that, right? Your land, your houses, your collateral, right? And mortgage rates are anywhere between, I don't know what they are. We're not carrying mortgage, right? We don't do mortgage, right? Anywhere between, let's say, if you're lucky, if you're absolutely lucky, probably 4%. 4% and if you're dealing with credit card companies you're paying close to 28% interest right okay so these institutions get interest at 1% if not lower and they give it to the people at anywhere between 4 to 28% that's a nice scam right one reason it's a scam because these institutions are usually too big to fail. So if they loan out a ton of money, because there's people working here, right? There's little, little bankers and money managers and stuff working here. And a lot of them don't just make a certain set salary, right? Their income is also dependent on how much money they lend out, right? So they take a little cream off the top for certain amount of money that they lend out okay so there's lots of hands in the cookie jar they're taking scraping a little off here scraping a little off here right the burden falls on the people right the burden falls on the people that's a huge differential right there are trillions of dollars being made here especially when you consider 40% of the money supply in the United States all time for the last hundred years was released uh, at least 50 years was released in 2020 okay for 2020 2020 2021 40 percent of all the money out there was just released flood pipe into here right stocks went up land went up inflation so what this does this thing here, the flooding of the money, creates inflation. Let's put inflation here. Inflation in the United States and Canada as well, the accepted inflation, right? Let's read some of the banks. Bank get money from the government and from regular citizens from open accounts. Yeah, the regular citizens open accounts is just a trickle of the money they get. The regular citizen opening up an account in a bank of $100 allows the bank, because through fractional reserve banking, to lend out at least 100 times that amount, right? So private citizens opening up bank accounts in banks is only anywhere between 1% to 10% of the actual money, if that, that the banks are able to play with, right? Because these guys just print money, right? I hear from this former investment banker that 
banks profits 80 percent of trades they make yeah they basically never lose it's great uh they do but if they lose they just hit up the government and the government through the fed just gives them a shitload of money free money right bails them out right so they're too big to fail they make risky bets there there's no doubt banks lose money right or they can lose money but there's no repercussions for them they get more money from these guys right okay did you know that percentages are reversible 16 percent of 25 is the same thing as 25 percent of 16 da, 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 25 is it uh, you, i do the calculations all the time i don't try to memorize it yeah because of distributive property distributive property yeah 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 ronnie cool thanks joe i like that i gotta remember that right so check this out inflation in the united states right now because that's the one i'm tracking is running at six seven percent six percent and that's accepted to seven percent inflation cpi consumer price index right it's much more than that by the way it's into the double digits easy easy it's running anywhere between 15 to 25 percent okay what that does what this does right makes this mean that it's crazy free money right because if you're getting money at one percent you could put it anywhere anywhere i don't care where right and you're gonna make money because inflation is six to seven percent right investment wise anyway right so you could buy assets right you could buy assets and you're making money right now the problem is joe blow here right that's the official they're recognizing this is the bank rate or the the interest rate for the fed for in the institutions now if you take your money and put it into a bank right uh savings account savings account right if you put your money into a savings account at best you're getting like 0 0.5 percent interest right so just imagine you want to save money you don't want to take any risk is that the primary i i it's it's got to be like around one percent i think it's around one percent depending i'm taking an average like your country wherever you are figure out what the prime rate is right now right as, as far as i see a prime rate's negative in many places right they're they're charging people money if you put your money in a bank savings account they don't you have to pay the bank money to put money in the bank it's crazy in canada is um 0.25 is it 0.25 they're saying it's going up to 7.5 uh, end of year yeah it's gonna go up like a lot of people saying they can't raise raise the interest rates because a lot of institutions will go bankrupt and a lot of people will go bankrupt because they can't afford a kick up in interest rates right because everyone's mortgaged out uh margin out to the max right margin debt right now or debt right now in canada is the most it's ever been right so just imagine raising the interest rate from 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 percent to 1.75 percent ah what is that going to do what is that going to do to people right people have mortgages at four percent right if prime rate goes from one percent or point in canada 0 0.25 percent to 7.1 or 1.75 percent what that's going to do is going to kick up the interest that people are going to have to pay on their debt right but these people here 
are leveraged. They, they're maxed out, right? Their highest debt in Canadian history on Canadian citizens, right? So where are they going to get the extra money to pay this debt? Because that's going to kick up, right? If this is going up by how many times? 0.5 is one time. 0.75 is two times, three times, four times, five times, six times. Six, seven times. 0.25, right? It's going to bankrupt people, right? There's going to be, uh, we need F we need F society. Oh yeah, from Mr. Robot. Oh, so shit rolls downhill. They raise the rate and everyone with debt will end up paying more. Exactly, Clover. Right? Now, they, their idea of raising interest rates is to calm inflation, right? Because they're saying, oh, we're going to raise interest rates. So what that's going to do is stabilize inflation, which is basically make things not increase in value or cost as much, right? So a jar of honey that you were paying for, you know, if you're buying it for $10, let's say, if you're paying six to seven percent this by the way this was per month basis last month it was seven percent in the united states i forget what it was in canada okay that's huge right that's annual comes out to ridiculous amount right but if you're paying for a jar of honey ten dollars last year right now it's probably you're paying around fifteen dollars right if you raise the interest rates their hope is that next year it's not going to go up to 22.50 or whatever it is, right? It'll stabilize around $15 or maybe go up to $16. So even though you're going to be paying more interest in your debt, you're going to stabilize or control inflation. So you're not paying as much for certain things, right? I only just started season two. Uh, the reset looks like it may <laughs> okay so that's one of the effects of inflation stabilizing prices which to a certain degree is good it will increase savings account interest that people get to a certain degree it's good okay it will devastate those who are in debt which is pretty bad right but one thing it will do it was it will help out these people make a shitload tons more money why because these people here are sitting on a lot of assets a lot of capital okay as long as they're not leveraged right and they control the money supply and they get first dibs at the money right the differential that they're getting money at relative to what the general population gets money at is huge right so when these people start going bankrupt these people buy these institutions buy out that stuff which is something we've seen in the past and is happening right now too. They buy out all these assets, right? So for example, lockdowns and what's happened to the economy in the last two years, a lot of mom and pop shops are closing their doors, right? A lot of private business is closing their doors. And what's happening, the business that people were spending in their community, the money that they were spending in their community is going into this, these institutions. So these institutions are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. And who are these institutions? These institutions are the same people that control these guys. Right. Sit on the board of directors like Black Rock. Right. Black Rock. Right. They own shares in a lot of these companies. Right. So they control these. They control the money supply. So wealth stays here. Right. Wealth stays here. The burden is carried here, right? The burden is carried here. That's what happens when centralized institutions use interest rates to control the economy of a nation or a region or the globe, right? It centralizes wealth because people here don't have any control of 
of this, right? Of the fiat currency of this, right? However, however, right now systems are changing where there are alternative ways of doing business inside here that severs this link, right? Let's use red to do this, right? Severs this link and says, we don't need your fiat. We got our own currencies, barter system, cryptocurrencies, different types of assets. And this becomes a self-contained economy, okay, outside of the centralized power. That is what we need, right? That's how people obtain their freedom, right? without being without being under the control of interest rate manipulation right this could be gold silver commodities cryptocurrencies collectibles collectibles value your your personal um, services you provide to people in here right and what is what is the key to for these people to uh, maintain their freedom, right? To not become slaves to the system. And really, this is huge, huge, huge. The people, we have to make sure that currency does not become one hundred percent digital. We cannot buy into a centralized digital currency okay we have to make sure that cash privacy right cash is always an option in an economy we have to make sure that every transaction does not go through the their system right because if every transaction goes through their system they can they can do whatever they want to your wealth anything they want to your wealth including seizing it right digital currency Aller God says digital currency is slavery right 100% digital currency is slavery okay you need to we need to make sure that for us to be free cash is always an option in a society okay I hope that's sort of a gives you an idea of how interest rates are going to play out in this thing um, sun clover that seems like a familiar pattern isn't that what happened during the great depression the masses suffered and the rich bought everything up yeah and this happened in 2008 the financial collapse scam as well right red cross decentralization <laughs> Oh my God, Ronnie, if currency becomes digital, there will be uh, an entity that's going to have an easier time to track all of our transactions. I think, yeah, the thing about digital is it leaves a trail. It leaves a trail and they can turn it on and off anytime they want, right? Oh, you didn't do what the central institution told you to do? Well, you don't have access to your bank account, right? Oops. It's pure slavery, right? Yeah, that was fantastic. Thank you, brother. My pleasure, Sun Clover. I hope, and we could talk a, talk a lot about this uh, later on, and we can definitely bring in some numbers to take a look at the CPI. We did this stuff in our personal finance videos, by the way, right? And if uh, the, anybody wants to know, you can go to our SensorTube um, channel, and we have a personal finance playlist, and the first eight videos or so sort of lay down a lot of the things that we talked about but in a lot more detail and we're using examples especially the cpi and inflation and uh, investments and stuff uh gordo one two three thank you i learned a lot in a short amount of time awesome very happy thank you for being here ronnie technology is always evolving i think blockchain will become archaic one day yeah agreed i agree clover funny you mentioned 2008 that's around the time bank of canada lowered the rate to what it is right now yeah 
it, they flooded they flood they gave their people so much money so much i wrote a lot of articles during that time uh talking about what was going on and talked about the collapse that was coming in 2000 i started articles writing articles about that in 2006 and 2007 i put pieces together warning people that there was going to be a serious serious crash in the system uh a year and a two to two to a year and a year previous uh pre-crash right those those a lot of people that messaged me and said i saved them a lot of money because they gave him a warning about what was hap was about to happen, right? You just gotta follow the money and you, f you see what's going on. Hello, I'm a snake. The biggest flaw I see about digital currency is that if if the electric grid goes down, how are people gonna trade with the digital currency? The government can easily do that to render us broke instantly. Indeed, hello, I'm a snake. And look into Cyber Polygon, right? That is definitely something in the works blank one zero two two thank you very much for the twitch prime sub 15 minute warning wow 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 this was a good live stream right on right on mathematics right on right on mathematics great questions by the way gang uh fun times fun times i hope you enjoyed the discussion um fun to do we did a couple of physics questions and some economics fantastic math in real life that is what is needed gang thank you for uh being here thank you for the follows thank you for subscribing uh for those of you that are subscribed thank you for the questions thank you for the discussion mods thank you for taking care of business joe chicho what would you say if the most advanced topic in math uh, you know what's the most advanced topic in math that i know well the most advanced topic in math for me would be uh topology to a certain degree very uh visually uh, and i don't know topology well okay at all really um so to me that's uh, i found that amazing cryptography is amazing uh statistics has its own very niche scene statistics is extremely powerful extremely powerful right uh from what i understand what i've read uh um, string theory mathematics of string theory is extremely difficult right <laughs> i don't know what that is but uh, aside from that gang if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho chycho if you want to support this work if you want to know what this work is about take a look at our patreon page uh it's basically layered on mathematics and will be so a lot more uh, in the coming weeks months and years okay and for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support i hope you enjoy the content that we're creating it upon thanks ronnie appreciate it and we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat ch -ch -ch, twitch is where you want to be at and we do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on lines bk gap parlor this not the, well discord too but uh bit cloud and getter and you can follow the work there we do share additional information there and we do have a discord page you can come to our chat anytime you want and type in discord doop, exclamation mark discord and the link for the discord server will pop up and the link will be in the description of this video uh once it's been uploaded to bitshoot rumble and odyssey and uh well the podcast the soundcloud joe chicho it's a topic in algebraic topology which states that you can't comb a hairball and have every hair combed oh he's serious that's what it's called <laughs> hairy balls there ha, ha, ha. i didn't know that topology is super cool i've seen i've watched a lot of videos not a, some videos anyway topology and stuff and read some articles it it's it's a mind twist cheryl i have to run and pick up the kiddo from a friend's house that i don't reenact any physics on the way take care take care cheryl no boof right 
do not do not reenact the physics we talked about today spotty was lurking in chat spoto spot of tea ah right on spot of tea how are you doing i hope you're doing well brother and i hope you're still there we do upload audio of live streams that we have uh where we don't have any visuals to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho as a podcast and those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform and this live stream this math discussion physics economics discussion will be uploaded to Sensor to to Pichu to Rumble and to Odyssey. And for those of you that are supporting this work on all of these platforms, gang, thank you very much for the support and mods on Twitch as always and on Discord. Thank you very much for being here and thank you very much for the support. We would not be able to do what it is that we are doing without your support. So I know we all appreciate it very much. Gang, I hope you guys have a fantastic Monday. Uh, sun clover thanks again i enjoyed that gonna try to catch more of these take care you too you too gang i hope you guys enjoy your week and we'll talk uh, on discord uh, in the next few days and i'll probably announce the next set of live streams it's going to be probably at least another week to 10 days again gang uh unfortunately but we'll get back into a nice speed at some point uh later on this year okay bye for now <laughs>